Dowager, Mr. Scott, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on October the 10th, 2018, a Category 3 storm, Hurricane Michael, entered my state of Georgia with a devastating force. It was harvest time for the 2018 crop. It was the best yields, especially for cotton, that we had seen in years. Farmers suffering in the midst of low commodity prices, unfair trade practices, labor shortages, and consecutive years of storm now had relief in sight. Then entered Hurricane Michael, and it was all gone in a matter of hours. Not just the commodity crops like cotton, but the orchards too. And since day one post Hurricane Michael, I've worked side by side with my friend and my colleague, Congressman Sanford Bishop. Hurricane Michael didn't discriminate between our district lines. I want to thank him for his help and his support of our state and our agricultural producers in Georgia. Soon after the storm, the President and Vice President Pence, Secretary Purdue, met with the two of us, our farmers, our community leaders, and promised to help them rebuild. Members of both parties in both chambers of commerce, I apologize, in both chambers of Congress echoed the same support. Six months later, and those promises of support have been broken. Never before have we seen communities that were wrecked with catastrophes neglected like this. Those votes in the Senate yesterday showed a lack of honor and dignity and how truly ugly and partisan politics have become. The truth is, if Hurricane Michael had hit Americans who weren't farmers or farmers who weren't Americans, the stories of yesterday's cowardice would be the front page of every paper. Whether the press likes it or not, and whether the senators from New York or Vermont like it or not, we're Americans too. And what happened yesterday was cowardly partisan politics and truly un-American.